It's like we've got the perfect lighting today. Ah. Guess who's back? He's all over his COVID. I am. He's been working still on the house now, catching up. I think you needed that week off to rest. I don't know. I think that week off is what did it. No, because you weren't working during the week you were sick, I thought. No, because I took the... Oh, for between Christmas and New Year's. I oh. took between Christmas and New Year's. Like, I'm not going to do anything. And then, and then my whole sick. body shut down. <laughs> and like everything went to crap. So then when I got better, I started doing that. Now I'm 100% better. I'm like, my body's like, all right, we're used to this. This is how it's supposed to be. Just go, go, go. There we go. And then... Uh, Sam and Sam did the video last week, but that quality video—it's yes. <laughs> not as quality as this. But <laughs> it was it, no, actually, it was a good. It was a good film. I mean, it was. It, no, was. it was. Other than the camera falling twice. Well, that. But I mean, as far as it wouldn't transfer because she uses an Android. I think was that film well, on her Android? Android too. Yeah. Yeah, but your Android tra transfers over for some reason. But hers, we couldn't get the. Uh, Maybe yeah, because she, she said it the way she said it. That's a brand new phone. Yeah. So we don't know anything about that phone yet. So anyway, but Jimmy's back. I'm back. Jim's putting the rest of our cabinet together. If you saw that yesterday, we bought a cabinet, and then Jimmy come in, and we had to have him help us just a little bit at the beginning. I couldn't lift it. It was it was kind of heavy. Oh, for someone that was going to walk through trusses, <laughs> yeah, no, you couldn't I, lift that up. <laughs> I was never going to walk through trusses. Trust me, I never I would was. pay money just to see you have a foot on them like you were going to start. No. That, that, uh, on, on the, the trusses. trusses. Oh. That is not going to happen. <coughs> That's never going to happen. But um, this, uh, no tag Tuesday. Um, we don't tag anybody anymore, but there's no a whole tags. there's a whole list. Did you want to say anything to Kim, though? You said that you wanted to still say you were going to tag Kim, even though you don't have I to would tag say I, I would still tag Kim, but I can't, so... Yes. Because we're not allowed. So if I could tag someone. It would be Kim. It would be Kim. And but uh, so anyway, in the description box below, I'll have the questions and I'll also have a list of everybody that normally does the tag. Some of the people aren't going to be able to do it every once in a while because, uh, you know, things happen. But for the most part, they, they do do them. And then um, this week, they're Jen over at Embracing Chaos. and Yeah, Embracing Chaos. I was going to say in Steve, but Steve, your name's not on the title. Neither is Jimmy. Well, on Jimmy's on, on Tag Tuesdays. On I Tag put, Tuesdays, it's on there. It, it's on there. I put Jimmy's <laughs> name on there. But for the last two weeks, we put Tagless Jim. Tagless, tagless Tuesday Jimmy. <laughs> without Jimmy. Yes. <laughs> but with Jim. But anyway, so next week is Jones Pointed Flight, and Doug has already come up with the questions, and they're very interesting. But, uh, oh, did you see Flair yet? I have to. She told me to watch. I haven't watched it <laughs> yet, but... Yeah. <coughs> I was trying to tell my cousin about that. She could flare way up yeah. to the camera like that. But anyway. Uh, so anyway, this uh, tag this week is your age is showing. Um, <laughs> number one, do you go by a nickname? Jimmy. Actually, they Samantha was actually kind of shocked that at work, like we go to a Christmas party. Yeah. And like everyone was walking up to her going, oh, you're Jimmy's girl, you're Jimmy's girl. And she's not used to that because she's used she to Jim. She calls Jim, yeah. So then we, like when we were driving home, she's like, I never realized everyone at work calls you Jimmy. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, they call me Jimmy or Jimbo or other names, but <laughs> depending on what I'm doing, <laughs> if I'm yelling at them or not. But for the most part, it's Jimmy. He doesn't know the nicknames they call him behind his back. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> Because it's funny because I'll say, okay, David, I will never tell anyone you told me, but like if I get done yelling at somebody yeah. and David's around and I walk away, I know like most of the, because it's, we have a uh, kid, Nick, that's my boss's son works there and it's the same way. He'll, you, you know that, you know, yeah they're going to, you're going to talk sm smack about other people <laughs> in front. Like they'll talk about his dad and yeah. he, he never says anything to his dad because I've even asked and Scott's like. No. He goes, I know they say it. Don't get me wrong. He goes, but he will never say. So I'll ask David. I'm like, you know, I'll never say anything. But when I walked away and they're like, oh, yeah, they called you up. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, and what'd you say? And he goes, he doesn't care. <laughs> and I go, and I know. <laughs> um, um, I go by Sandy. Sandra's my real name. Jim calls me Hun Bun or Deary. One or of the Sandra. Two. Or Sandra. My dad, Jim, and then my cousin michael who just recently passed were the only ones that 
I would accept <laughs> Sandra calling me Sandra. It's just I don't like it. I, I don't know. It's just that. But my nickname is Sandy. Yep. Um, number two, are you named after anyone? My father. After Jim. And your grandfather. And my grandfather. And, and my great grandfather. <laughs> but then he didn't continue it on. <laughs> um, no, I'm not named after anybody. My mother was going to name me Bruce if I was a boy. And she named me Sandra because, I've said this before, that because she thought it was a, a very uncommon name. And in kindergarten, there was like six of us. So it wasn't that Well, uncommon. I was going to be, what was it, Jennifer. You were going to be Jennifer Marie because, if you were a girl. Because Aaron, <laughs> because Aaron started calling me Jimifer. <laughs> <laughs> for Jennifer. He's like, oh, Jimifer. <laughs> Yeah. So I guess that's another nickname I have is Jimifer from Aaron. Yeah. Grasshopper. Or Grasshopper from Dad. Right. Or Jimmy Donuts <laughs> from <laughs> Samantha. <laughs> yeah. Um, and like I said, I'm not named after anyone. Uh, number three, what show do you wish you could kind of have come back from your childhood? Oh, like to keep going? Yeah. All Day Miami Vice. Oh, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> I love Miami Vice. Um, see, now I would pick, which I can watch on the re reruns, but Andy Griffith. I love Andy oh, Griffith. Oh, every time I heard that whistle, I was like, because it was on dinner night. It was, it was, on was dinner always night. dinner night. And we'd hear, you know, uh, how's that go? I can't wait. And as soon, as soon as that started, I'd be like, all right, we're, all right we got to head out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we used to watch it after dinner. Um, well, you got me the tapes set. I got your whole DVD. The whole DVD of it. I hoping know. that I was going to watch that instead of it on the TV. <laughs> but no, I watch it on the TV. I would like that one to come back and The Rifleman because I like The Rifleman. Oh, if we could pick two. I would like that well, and I MASH. Can say, it doesn't say. It just says if you have any show. MASH. That would be another one. Oh, that was a good back. one too. Yeah. I can go in. I can go out. I can, I can go win, in. I can, I can go, go out. out. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite lines in there. Um, who was it? Hawkeye wasn't had to stay in the Trapper John was trapped in the thing confined to the tent and I think that's why he kept saying he could go into the tent yes. or go out of the tent yeah. I can go in, I can go out. Yes. Um, number four if you could be a cartoon character who would you be? Ooh mm. I'd be Mickey Mouse because everybody loves Mickey Mouse and I love cheese and so it's got to be a mouse or Mighty Mouse Mighty Mouse would be another one but then I'm aging myself because do you even know who Mighty Mouse is? Yes I know who oh, Mighty okay. Mouse is I watched Mighty Mouse Okay I wasn't sure how long Mighty Mouse was on <laughs> Speed Racer No <laughs> <laughs> Oh that does describe you though <laughs> It could be That's the only one I can think of oh, hey, Maybe Speed I could see I... you being the Roadrunner yeah, the Roadrunner. Because the only cartoons I really watched, now that I think about it, were like Tom and Jerry, Looney Tunes, and I think that was it. We watched the Flintstones. All the Flintstones. Yeah, and the Jetsons. Yeah, but that, that was basically it. Now it's yeah. like a cartoon every, you know, yeah, they got like 33,000. I would say Speed Racer. Um, if you could get back any article of clothing you once wore, what would it be? My leather bomber jacket. His green suit. <laughs> Not my green suit. <laughs> that can stay wherever it's at. <laughs> um, if I could wear any article of the, clothing. The coat I got for my 16th birthday. Yeah, I know which one you're talking about. I gave it to Lynn to wear, and then we broke up, and then <laughs> that was gone. That's what you got to learn. You got to get your stuff back. <laughs> last time I back. ever gave a jacket away. <laughs> last time. Well, you had the, uh... well, yours was the Red Wings coat, right? Yeah. Yeah. I still have that somewhere. Yeah. No, I think you threw that one away. No, I still have that. Oh, you still have that? Uh, if I could pick it just up... started cracking, so I didn't... Oh. If I could get back any article of clothing you once wore. Hmm. I did have, when I was back in the 60s, I did have a pair of American flag pants that were really cool. Whoa. <laughs> I, did, I did like those, but I wouldn't want to wear them now. Um, I had this shirt that I really liked. It was a green shirt that my cousin Lori had given me. And I used to wear it all the time. And it was just a plain green pullover, like a... T-shirt? Like a rugby shirt. Not oh, like okay. Not with the stripes of a rugby. Collars? It had the collars. It was like a rugby style shirt. Right. And it was green and it had a zipper that went zipped up here. And I used to wear it all the time. And I used to... It was always clean, but every time Lori saw me, I had it on. And Lori would say, oh my gosh, Sandy. I'm going to give you some more clothes. And I go, no, I love this. <laughs> And, I uh, know, another one. I take this back. I had a mattress, madras, M-A-D-R-E-S, madras jacket. It was a plaid, red plaid coat. 
that my whole family hated and my mother hated. Absolutely I don't hated. That. When I bowled in the 70s, you would have been like six or seven. You might not have remembered it. But we went bowling one time, and you'll never convince me that my family didn't throw that away. Because when it came time to leave, the jacket was nowhere to be found. And if it was so awful, like everybody said, nobody would have stole it. You never know. But I had to go home without a coat that night. So I'd like that coat So back. she had to zip up her t-shirt. My green shirt. No, I had a bowling shirt. We had a bowling shirt. At that time, we were... Were we the pin droppers then, I think? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, we had I had a bowling shirt on. Um, I was on a mixed league without your mother. <laughs> yes. Our name was Dixon Chicks. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that one. I remember that one. Uh, number six, we can't miss any questions. You and Samantha did really well last week. You didn't miss I any I didn't questions. miss one. Uh, Jim, your dad and I missed snakes. Hmm. No, you did. You were supposed to be helping. I was just answering. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> We, Jim doesn't like. Jim's not afraid of snakes. I am afraid of snakes. Jimmy is afraid of snakes. Samantha's terrified. Ter Samantha's not though. No. So there were the opposites. But anyway, okay. We did one, two, three, four, five. We're on number six. If you could hear anyone in history give a speech, whom would you want to hear? Mm. Abraham Lincoln. No, you gotta go back farther than that. Jim Bridger. <laughs> I have no clue who that is. Um, hmm. I can say what I want to say, but then people will judge me, so I won't. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, I don't know what. I'm going to say it, but it's not going to count. Okay. <laughs> Now I'm afraid. Very, be afraid. Be, be very afraid. afraid. Be very and afraid. And it's not because I like, like oh, he's the greatest. Hitler. Hitler. I would, just to see what that was like. You see, know what I mean? was mesmerized by him. Like, how were, so were you? Mesmerized. Yeah, I don't understand how anybody gets that mesmerized just from people talking. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think there's people in, in com, right now that are the same way. Yeah, but I don't get how anybody... That's why yeah, I would want to see it. Yeah, that's why I don't get... Yeah, I mean, like, well, even Jim Jones, and he brought all the people down there to yeah. drink the Kool-Aid, and they drank yeah. it. Why, why do you trust somebody so much? <laughs> exactly. you know, especially when you see other people dying before you got your Kool-Aid. <laughs> exactly. You know? I'd be like, hey, just like I'm oh, out of here. Okay, shoot me. I'd rather die of getting shot <laughs> exactly. you know, than getting, drinking that. But anyway, so who would you really want to see? Is that who you really want to no. see then? No. Oh. But that would be interesting. I would say, um, I can't think of his name now. The fourth president. Who's the fourth president? Like I'm going to know. I should know this because I even remember I used to know them all. That's sad. And well, hey, we should ask him. was the third. We ought to ask an answer. Was it John Adams Jr.? John Quincy yeah, Adams? Yeah, look at that. I think it was. John Quincy Adams, Jr.? Then it was Jefferson. Jefferson. I would like to hear Jefferson's. Jefferson was the third. He was a third. Sorry. Anyway. Uh, if you didn't watch, if you didn't see a 60 Minutes yesterday, look it up. They did a thing to see who betrayed Anne Frank, which was very interesting when you were talking about Hitler. It got me thinking of that. that yeah, but... They figured they had somebody, they solved it like a cold case, and then they figured out who was the one that turned her in. Her family to let them know that they were hiding. Oh yeah. So and, I thought and, they already knew that. No, they I don't want to knew. give it away in case anyone didn't know. No, they never knew. It was somebody that was on the Jewish Council. It was another Jew, and they were afraid to uh, admit that it was him. I can ruin it for you in case you can watch. Don't the show. tell them. <laughs> I won't tell you his name. But uh, anyway, and it was just a matter of survival. And even the rabbi that they talked to on sixty minutes said, you know, it's a hard choice. You know, like right. it's a hard choice for you to make your life for someone else's. And you know, what would you do? It was very interesting. So if you can look it up, I think you can get it on CNN.com. No, not CNN. On Par Paramount, I think isn't that CBS? Anyway, it was on CBS. Yeah. Look up sixty minutes. That was very interesting. Um, number seven. What is your favorite childhood memory? Hmm. You should have tons of childhood memories. I have memories. tons of childhood <laughs> memories. I would say, remember we used to play um, football on the island, Amaros? Yeah. I would, like there was a busy street 
it was a really busy street. It was a busy street, yeah. And we'd get yelled at all the time for doing it. But the island was, in my defense, now that I look at you the island, you could have you could have put a house on the island. You could have, but you built a but house. now that I'm looking at it, when I, like when I was a kid, it looked like the island was like two, three hundred feet wide. Yeah. But now that I'm an adult and I drive by there, and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, that's only about 40, 50 feet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we play football there. Yeah. Um, my favorite childhood memory would be. I always liked Christmas. I never, we never really got a lot of presents for Christmas, but it was just the anticipation. My mother or my father, I think it was my father, had like some bells that he would ring, and if we wouldn't go to sleep right away, he'd jingle the bells and he'd say, "Well, Santa just drove by the house. He just flew by. Hopefully, he's going to come back." So, but I have that, and just sneaking down in the middle of the night and seeing all the gifts under the tree. One well, that they weren't under the tree. We had piles with yeah. our name on top of it. But and then our regular stocking with this with an apple and orange <laughs> and a tube banana sock with an orange in it. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Uh, number eight, your first ever cell phone was the Nextel, the the walkie-talkie one. Oh, mine was a Nokia. The big brick. It was yeah. big. No, mine was a Nokia. It was just a really small one. It wasn't even a flip phone. It was just like, like a small little... Yeah, neither was the Nextel. Yeah. That's when me and Bob first started working together. Yeah. That company we worked for, they gave us the phones. I remember we went to um, a party at Bradley's house, and, and Aunt Barb brought out her phone. And put yes. it, out there. it was like It was like one of those things that you see in the old, old movies when <laughs> yeah. they first phones, and they hold up these big old black... Exactly. Like it almost looks like you're talking to It was to like, a so anyway, <laughs> stands up on its own. We all made fun of her. We all <laughs> rasped her. And then, you know what? The following week, she went and bought a new phone. Yep. <laughs> so... Um, number nine, the first book I remember reading. Mine was just the first grade book, C. Dick, C. Dick Run. run I was going to say, run. mine was Dick, C. Jane. Dick and Jane. Yeah, Dick and Jane. That's the yeah. first book I remember reading. To I myself. Remember, I mean, my parents read to me. I remember, it wouldn't be in there nowadays, but I remember, this is Dick, he has malaria. <laughs> you know, and he's all like, in yeah, his blanket. I'm like, thinking back, like, this is a childhood book. <laughs> <laughs> What's the favorite book that I used to read to you? Are you my mother? Uh, to give me a complex. And you know what? I told you that story about when we lost Jimmy in the hospital. That's true. It was a true question. Are you my mother? That's <laughs> true. I like, kept asking. Didn't even know at the time. But yeah. Um, and what is something silly you believed as a child? Mine is silly. Is I believed that when you ate your dinner, that when it went down your throat, no. <laughs> the potatoes went to one part of your stomach, and the vegetables went to another part of your stomach, and then the meat went to another part of your stomach, and then the because they wouldn't intermingle in your stomach. No, they wouldn't do that. That was that was my belief as a child. Mine would be that when babies are born, they come out of belly buttons. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm, I got that. That's where they come out. I know. That's. Because I remember we had the talk, <laughs> and you're like, you know where babies come from? Like, Psh, yeah, yeah the, we belly don't the belly button. The belly button. No. Then she told me, and we're like, we're done. We're done. Um, yeah, I told you at a very early age, too. Yes. yes. Yeah, I, I told my kids, like, they were nine when I think when yeah, I started telling them. Yeah, I don't even them. think I was nine, but. Yeah. No, you start asking questions, you start getting answers. <laughs> Uh, and the bonus question is from Steve. Ooh. Thanks, Steve. Uh, who was your celebrity crush growing up? All day long. I can't think of her name, though. <laughs> She's not a good crush if you can't remember no, her No, I name. can't remember her name, but the younger daughter from The Love Boat. Remember? Oh, we looked that up before. Vicky. Not Vicky. Was it Vicky? I thought it was Vicky was the younger Who daughter. Who was the older one? I don't know. I thought the older one was Vicky. Was the older one? But Vicky? whatever the the youngest daughter of Captain Stubing, that was my crush. Mine was Johnny Crawford from The Rifleman. You would have thought it would have been Opie, but he was younger than me. <laughs> Johnny Opie, Car really? <laughs> well, he's about Opie, the same Opie. age. He's about the same age as me. He's I think he's That's two true. years younger than me or something like that. But Johnny uh, Crawford was a couple. He's dead now. He died of Alzheimer's. But Johnny Crawford was my, my celebrity crush. Well, thank you, Jimmy, for finally showing up. It's been like three weeks. It's been two. Has it been two? You know, I missed. I two. didn't do last week's <laughs> with you, and I still did last week's. And you didn't do the week before, though, because your dad did. Two oh, yeah, that's true. So. Okay, so it has been three weeks. It's been three weeks. So, but like I said, uh, the questions. Thank you, Jen, over at Embracing Chaos with Jen, and thank you, Steve, for the bonus question. Um, down below, I'm going to have a list of all the channels. Next week is. Uh, 
Jones pointed plates turn and Doug has already come up with the questions they look very interesting so our turn is coming up pretty soon sir do you want to do the questions or am I I'll do the up? questions so Jimmy's gonna come up with the questions I think ours is the second or third week in February is our turn but I'll let you know exactly so you'll have plenty Perfect. of time so but if you're new to our channel like comment subscribe and share and me a graph. oh how many people remember mimeographing from when you were younger and when they handed out the papers you held them Not up to your guy. face and you smelled the mimeograph because the teachers would hand it out and like in unison everybody would pick up their papers and go and smell the, <laughs> <laughs> smell nope. the ink on the mimeograph anyway that's it goodbye Bye.